Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about my August wrap up. I know, I know, I should have posted post this video uh, Sunday, but this weekend was a little rushed, and these past few days, when the week started, um, I have stuff to do, and when it comes to night time, I didn't have the energy to film. So, this whole week has been a little rushed. So, I'm going to try to make this video short because I don't have really so much to talk about because some readings that I did I can talk to you about them right now so yeah I'm going to talk about the books that I read the books that I'm currently reading movies and series you know the drill so the books that I read I read a novella called Adore by Doris Lessing Adore or Adoration, Adoration, I think that's the name, but I prefer Adore. So I had, uh, I posted a video all about this novella, a review video, I'm sorry, I don't have a good posture. Um, and this is all about two mothers and their respective sons and how relationships can be a bit like how how is the word mm, strange is not a word but can be unexpected yeah i think unexpected is the word <laughs> i'm sure that is a better word in english but now i'm not remembering and or perhaps in the eyes of society you wouldn't suppose that those type of relationships would happen because of many circumstances and the, pro the proximity of the people. So yeah, well, a bit of history with that sad story or this story is that I watched the movie first a few years, a few few years I think or many years I I'm supposing I, I watched this movie and I was still young like I don't know if I had when this movie came out 2013 so yeah I think I saw it surrounding that year or a few years later but pro in the proximity of 2013 and I, I really enjoyed it I thought the story was very how can I say I'm going to say it again unexpected and I loved the actresses that were portraying the characters Naomi Watts and Robin Wright I didn't know the actors that portray their sons so it was they were new to me and I'm not supposing they are really well known, you know, at least at the time. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And um, I thought the concept was really interesting. And I didn't know it was based in a book. And I, I didn't know um, the name of the author, but it's Doris Lessing. In an impt, I can say I read it. I read it this August and, well, spoiler alert, I didn't quite enjoy the novella. I know, I'm, I think it's because it is a novella and the, the format is short so the author is like exploring an idea and for me it's a bit incomplete or not well developed. But I know, I know is a format and not because the author didn't have the capacity to develop. It was his choosing to be in a novella format. So I understand that. But I don't think that novellas are really for me. 
because I want more every time, at least this is my experience these last few weeks um, because I read it another novella in July, if I'm not mistaken, and I felt the same thing. So I don't know if novellas are for me, but you know. So I'm not going to say more. If you want to know a bit more without spoilers, I, you can watch my video. I'm going to put it in the cards right here and down below as well. So the link, you know, so yeah. So the book that I'm reading, well, yes, I'm still reading The Brothers Karamazov and I'm still reading Guns, Germs and Steel by Jared Diamond. So there we go. <laughs> About the movies, I saw Emma for, from 2020. I was, I had my eye on this movie for a long time and for some reason I didn't have, it, it wasn't really the time but it was more like the wanting to watch it because I had watched so I saw the movie from 1996 with Kate Beckinsale um, portraying Emma and I really enjoyed that movie and so I had a bit, a bit of laziness to watch the 2020 movie although I heard and from the pictures and photos that I, I saw um, I thought that the wardrobe and the colors of that movie were really vibrant and I, I enjoyed that but you know I had the laziness to watch it so I only watched it this August and I really really enjoyed it I thought that Anya Taylor-Joy portraying Emma was really brilliant and Johnny Flynn portraying Mr. Knightley I love it I love him thought he was very handsome and um, with his a bit longer hair so yeah I really enjoyed him and I thought he was very I don't know well characterized and there is a scene in a movie that happened at least in the 1996 movie that I watched as well that is a, um, a really important scene in the book that I thought it was very, I thought it was great in that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that scene and I thought that Johnny Flynn did a, a good job. So I really enjoy, enjoy him. And the scenarios and the colors of the rooms and even the colors of her dresses were so, so vibrant. I really enjoyed all the cinematography and the photograph and photography uh, so I really advise it for you to watch it I think it's better than Persuasion the last movie of Persuasion I think it's better than that one because it's really faithful to the story of Emma and is not trying to modernize in um, and overdoing it you know like in a modernization type of way that's not what happens uh, although it's quite modern in my eyes but I think it was better than persuasion so yeah go watch it I just watched one movie so that was this one and then I watched a Korean drama that is called Business Proposal and it's from 2022. That series, uh, I think it, yes, it only has one season. So it begins and ends the whole story of the drama in one season. It only has 12 episodes. That's strange. I thought it had more. Maybe it was, I was confusing it with other dramas. Yeah, it's like um, a series or a drama about a girl that she's a food developer. So, so she works for a company that sells food products 
like fried fish or noodles, stuff like that. But it's like ready to go type of food. She has a friend that comes from a wealthy family and that friend's family, or at least her father, wants her to marry another wealthy pretendant or a man from another wealthy family. And so he sets her up a date with someone that actually is the boss of our protagonist. So our protagonist, her family, has a fried chicken uh, shop. Um, and so, so she's kind of, not I won't say poor, but she's from a humble family. They negotiate that our protagonist will go to their date and pretend to be her friend and try to disencourage the pretender to marry her. So she will do stuff to get him away. And she does the worst that she can to, for him to not wanting to marry her, you know? She doesn't, oh, she didn't know that the pretended was her boss. And when she finds out, because she didn't know the face of her boss, she didn't know him physically. And so um, when she finds out, she gets really scared and she gets scared that she's going to be fired if he finds out. Um, and so that all thing develops after that because then he wants to get to know her um, so he didn't give up on her friend pretending you know um, then he finds out that it it was all a scam and she actually wasn't the woman that he thought he were and then they say to him that she was a model um, an actress that she employed to go to the date and that's all a lie you know um, so that he didn't find out that our protagonist worked for him and you know then things develop after that and it's really funny the the drama so you will good you will pass a good time uh, watching this and as I find out as I found out it, it only has 12 episodes so you won't be won't be long with this series so yeah i think you will enjoy this series you know because the thing it is a comedy although it has romance but the core thing it is a comedy so yeah that was everything that i watched i didn't watch any other series so i tried to pass my time reading although i wasn't really su successful with some books as the books that i'm currently reading you know but yeah i i really enjoyed august and i'm quite pleased with everything that i did so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you haven't subscribed already Leave a like, it helps a lot with the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the